Hello everyone and welcome to this tutorial. So I've already imported here uh, the audio file. Uh, I have the preview for the test and uh, uh, a simple logo. The, this template needs the audio file that you found in the description because it's synchronized with it. So first thing to do is to open this comp, the first one, the logo one, and to drag your logo down, hide the other one, and maybe, <coughs> sorry, maybe have to rescale by pressing S and rescale. Next thing to do is retype in your strap line, retype whatever you want, just double click here, and uh, place the music in the music comp, step three, and then go to the edit. Here you have two master layers. Let's start with the first one. The first one you have here, uh, edge preview, is the first thing you have to start with, so just check this, and this will help you to choose which part of your logo you want to show. So play with this value, and uh, Yes, for example, now I can s see the letters inside the red part, you see? So then I uncheck this again, and now I see all the letters appearing. <coughs> so after that, you, I can play with the logo size, but I uh, suggest you to go to the end of the animation to, to see once the, the logo is fixed, and the, uh, once the camera is fixed, and uh, maybe here is too big, so we may want to make it slower. It's up to you. And then you have the logo stroke. I put this option here for uh, black logos. So if you see, my logo is uh, almost black. Let's go to half. And with a stroke, I can see it better. I can uh, uh, play with the opacity and also change the color. So let's go with the back of our logo. OK, now, so uh, we don't need a stroke here. Uh, disable it. Uh, the ending fog is kind of the, uh, this fog behind uh, your logo, so you can play with its color and with uh, its opacity. Maybe, uh, for example, uh, you have the laser intensity, so just pick one of these uh, points in time and play with the laser intensity, but be aware that it will change the the whole laser intensity and the whole animation. So uh, be careful with that. After that, you, c you have um, five uh, adjustable colors here uh, that uh, are referring to these points in time. So if you want to m make the animation with one color or two, just play with this uh, value. If I want, for example, my animation to be bl blue or alone, I just pick this color here and my whole animation will be blue. And if I want to give it different colors, so I can, uh, here is some point in time set color A, so go here to set the color A, go here to have a nice view of the color B. If I change B here, I will see it but, uh, okay, so each point in time will help you to set the color if you want. Here it's again blue because it's blue in color C, but I can change it to pink or whatever. It's up to you. And that's it for the laser. So now let's set the our strap line. Let it go way in time. But here, select the strap line layer and play with its position its scale, I can even change the color and the orientation of the reveal. So it's, uh, now it's like up to down, I guess. But you can sh see it in the review. I see, now it's from left to right, right to left, sorry. So I guess that's it. After that, just go to comp, comp at the render queue or to media encoder and uh, render. Thank you for watching, and uh, please, if you like this project, uh, please take the time to rate it. Thank you. Goodbye.